Hey guys, let's get more news about SAN Francisco 49ers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. 49ers trade idea swap struggling Brandon Ayuk for $140 million All-Pro WR. It's been a rough start to the 2024 regular season for San Francisco 49ers wide receiver Brandon Ayuk. After signing a four-year, $120 million contract extension on August 30, the fifth-year wideout has struggled to make an impact on offense. So far through four games, Ayuk has 13 receptions on 25 targets for 167 yards, 12.8 yards per catch. A second-team All-Pro in 2023 after hauling in 75 passes for a career-high 1,342 yards and seven touchdowns, Ayak hasn't gained more than 48 yards in a game yet this season. Meanwhile, over in Las Vegas, three-time All-Pro W.R. Devontae Adams has requested to be traded from the Raiders according to NFL Network insiders Ian Rappaport and Mike Garafalo, who reported the news via X on October 1. The 49ers already paid Ayak top money for his services, but would a trade swap for Adams be a feasible idea? Sanjesh Singh of NBC Sports thinks it's a distant possibility, naming the Niners as an honorable mention trade candidate for the Raiders superstar. If the Raiders were to trade for Ayak, they'd be tied to him longer than they would have been to Adams, should he leave. Adams is in the third year of the five-year, $140 million deal he signed with Las Vegas, although there is a potential out for whichever team he plays for in 2025, after his $67 million in guaranteed money has been paid. That makes Adams a player the 49ers might be interested in acquiring, as his deal has more wiggle room to get out of in the future. The 49ers couldn't add any more stars, could they? They could, but they'd have to lose one in the process, Singh wrote. Ayak eventually stayed in the Bay Area but so far isn't living up to the price tag, recording just 13 catches, 167 yards and no touchdowns. An Adams acquisition could give the 49ers a hungry, proven wideout looking for a ring while the Raiders receive a younger cornerstone piece who is tied down for multiple years. It's an intriguing idea, but it's not something the Niners are likely going to pursue. Besides, it's rumored Adams may want to play elsewhere. According to ESPN, two NFL teams high on Devontae Adams' wish list of places to land if he's traded, if not at the very top, are the New York Jets and New Orleans Saints. That's not surprising, considering two of Adams' former QBs, Derek Carr and Aaron Rodgers, are with the Saints and Jets, respectively. Adams made the Pro Bowl six times out of the nine years he played with Carr and Rodgers combined. One team may have the edge, though. The Saints are a team to watch for Devontae Adams, they think they are close, former NFL quarterback Chase Daniel wrote on X on October 2. While an adams Ayuk trade swap isn't an impossibility, the Niners have a younger option in Ayuk, whose rust is likely the result of a missed training camp in preseason due to his contract holdout. He's off to a slow start to be sure, but that's not exactly a trade-worthy offense. 49ers need to pull the plug on LB Devondra Campbell. The San Francisco 49ers have begun to turn the page to their younger players. They signaled those changes in their Week 4 victory against the New England Patriots. Rookie safety Malik Mustafa got to make his debut start. He got the nod over George Odom, who was the initial starter when Talanoa Hufanga was out. Rookie cornerback Renardo Green received more snaps than Isaac Yadam, who has been the starter in the nickel defense. Sooner or later, Green will be the indefinite starter in the nickel. These are a couple of moves the 49ers have made to kickstart their transition to the younger players. It shouldn't stop at Mustafa and Green. There is another veteran who needs to make way to continue the movement towards the young players. The 49ers need to pull the plug on linebacker Devondra Campbell. He has been a failed free agent signing for the 49ers through four games this season. Campbell was brought in to be the placeholder while Dre Greenlaw recovers from a torn Achilles. But he has shown to be a replaceable player, especially in pass coverage. 
he has allowed 17 receptions for 168 yards this season, 9.9 .9 yards per catch. Campbell is an automatic first down conversion when targeted. It's difficult to see what exactly he positively provides the 49ers. One thing is sure, he brings a lot of negative factors with zero trajectory. This is who Campbell is, and it's why the Green Bay Packers let him walk in free agency. The 49ers need to commit to their young players. The first player who they should look to supplant Campbell is D. Winters. He has the speed to keep up in coverage and break on passes that Campbell simply does not. That alone makes for an instant upgrade. Winters will surely struggle, but at least there is a trajectory with him. The 49ers don't have that with Campbell. What you see is what you get with him and it won't get better. He's only going to be a massive liability when the 49ers face strong offenses. The Los Angeles Rams are an example of that. Sean McVay and Matthew Stafford, who are reputable with high intelligence, went at Campbell on pivotal downs and succeeded. Imagine when the 49ers face the Kansas City Chiefs in the coming weeks. Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes are going to have Campbell circled. Don't let that happen. Put Winters, Tatum Bethune, or re-sign Jalen Graham there. At least when they get beat they can learn and get better from it. Reduce Campbell to a base package linebacker and nothing more. Go with the younger, faster players and see what their potential is. Raiders W.R. Devontae Adams hopes to be traded to Jets, but is open to other destinations. If Devontae Adams gets his wish, he'll eventually be a member of the New York Jets, playing with his friend and four-time NFL Most Valuable Player, Aaron Rodgers. New York is where the Raiders star wants to play after informing the team on Monday he prefers to be traded, multiple sources say. But Adams has not demanded as much from Las Vegas, and this is not a scenario like Rodgers in 2023 when the quarterback informed the Packers he would only play for the Jets. In fact, according to sources informed of Adams' thinking, he is open to playing for several other teams. The New Orleans Saints, Pittsburgh Steelers, Baltimore Ravens, Buffalo Bills, Dallas Cowboys and perhaps the San Francisco 49ers are among teams that either have inquired about the six-time pro bowler or are places Adams would be happy landing. The Raiders have had conversations with several teams since Monday when Adams told Las Vegas he preferred to play elsewhere. Those conversations ramped up after NFL media first reported that Adams would like to be dealt. Nothing currently has come close to happening and no trade is expected at least until next week at the earliest, sources say. While the Raiders could trade Adams to the Jets, they will do what's best for their organization, sources say, including taking the best deal from the highest bidder. While players generally have some semblance of control in this case, Adams would have to rework his contract to facilitate a trade he is not in total control of where he ends up. And while teams have discussed potential deals, there likely won't be any official offers until Adams' hamstring is healthy enough for him to play. Adams missed the Raiders' Week 4 win over the Cleveland Browns, and he is not expected to play this Sunday against the Denver Broncos, sources say, but it's likely he'll continue to play for Las Vegas when healthy if the right deal takes weeks to materialize or never does. The Raiders are looking for at least a second-round pick as compensation for Adams, who originally drew a first- and second-round pick in a 2022 trade from the Packers. Adams, the former All-Pro, would be the highest-profile player currently on the trade market. Adams' preferred destinations each have short- and long-term implications. For instance, a trade to the Jets would reunite him with Rodgers, but for how long? Rodgers, 40, has indicated he'll play beyond this season, though not for much longer. Adams, 31, clearly believes he has several seasons of good football left in him. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Devontae Adams? Leave your opinion in the comments.